<laughs> had to happen eventually. Okay, audio is on. Stream and video are on. Cool. Wow. Gotta grab my controller. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the one oh. thing is I can't hear the game audio uh, unless I plug it into my controller because this is one of the ones that has the uh, audio in jacks. It also has the two buttons oh. on the back, which for Breath of the Wild is going to be amazing. I don't have to click in the analogs to like duck and sneak and stuff. Wow, uh, that was crazy as shit. What? I'm gonna have to mute the stream audio. Oh? Uh, I had the stream audio up, so I just heard that story twice, and that was wild. Oh, you gotta mute the stream audio. I thought you were saying from my end. No, no, I have to. <gasps> shit. Oh, it's a snail. Ah, oh, fuck. I already scared it. But, but, in defense of it, it I could hear myself quite clearly. It sounds pretty loud. Yeah, I mean, you're like an inch from the microphone, so... <gasps> no, I didn't oh, scare yeah. him away. Hold on, I gotta... I am on a tongues with the way. Uh, uh, I don't have a net. Oh, uh, no, I don't have a net. Okay, whatever. I already have a snail for the museum, so... Give me that wood. <laughs> so how has your day been, Andrew? Oh, my God. I, uh, so... I can't... Go into too much detail, but I got something. I got some coconut oil that was infused, and you know, cartridge. And I just smeared the coconut oil on some bread and had it like butter. It's got a kind of spicy taste to it. Hmm. Yeah, but in a weirdly pleasant kind of way. But I don't know how to explain. It's kind of like a black pepper taste almost. I'm gonna scoot the stream up here so that you can see the map. And, um... Black pepper from a coconut oil? The infused coconut oil. Oh. So infused with... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah. The stuff. And, yeah. So I had some of that and then a couple of puffs in my way, but it's been like four hours and I'm still riding high. <laughs> Riding high as an eagle to be free. High as an eagle, let your spirit can be free. So when I was in elementary school, our school mascot was the eagles. What the fuck am I doing? I'm watering the plants and it's raining. God damn it, I suck at this game. Our school mascot was the eagles. So <laughs> our musical instructor wanted us to think of a song with eagles in it that we could sing in honor of the school. Yeah, I immediately blurted, I want to fly like an eagle. To be free. Yeah, and so we absolutely sung that song in front of like a school assembly. Nice. It was awesome. Uh, it was, man, I am like, I'm that nostalgic kind of high right now. Mm, I you know what I mean? Find... Like, what everything reminds you of when you were 10. Yeah, I was thinking about earlier, like, do you remember any of your school songs? I remember one from, like, elementary school that we actually, like, made up. I remember two from elementary school. I went to a bunch of them. But there was Finding Groves High School, Learning is the Key, Teachers uh, uh, and the Faculty, Playing Gold Panther Life, We Do All That Is Right, We Do Do Do, do Love School. I and okay. was, Yeah, that. I didn't understand why people hated that tune so much because mm. I didn't associate it with It's a Small World After All. Yeah. I'd never, I'd never seen It's a Small World After All. Never been to Disneyland or Disney World or whichever one it's at. Uh, I think there's one at both? It doesn't matter. Uh, so, then there was Crown Point, which is, uh, oh, yeah, Crown Point, yeah. I remember mm. Finding Grove. I only went to each one like for a year. Right. And yet they taught us that. Hmm. 
else here? I don't want to block out that fruit tree. Uh, and this enough would be cool. Build. Don't... Am I allowed to do that? Have you ever, like, visited a neighborhood you haven't lived in in years? Seeing how everything's changed? Not often. I did one time in Arlington, Washington, um, where I grew up. And then... Recently, I've been, like, up on Google Maps trying to find, like, the places I lived in high school in the middle, in, like, the middle of nowhere. So I'm, like, trying to remember the bus route going, like, all the way along. Like, okay, there's the school. So then we, like, went out this way. But it's, like, a 20-mile route, and it went, like, way off in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. So it's, like... We did, I, I haven't found the original house. I found the other spot that I used to live, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, <laughs> other than be so, like, yeah, that's that's it. So give you an idea of how poor we were and how crappy the homes we lived in were. Mm -hmm. None of the homes we lived in are still standing. Ooh, that's a rough one. One neighborhood, one neighborhood was bulldozed. They put up apartments, and they bulldozed that and put up uh, good old class housing. Thank you. And, like, it's so crazy to see, like, Damn. What, what was a shitty neighborhood now, like, oh, up the scale. The tree, though. That uh, just broke my heart. Yeah? It really did. Yeah, because it was like, none of my identity is here anymore. I mean, yeah, eventually it all... It, it, oh, did you look at the uh, the tweets I sent you while you were setting up? No, I... Oh yeah, you're on my phone, so... Yeah. So, uh... I could do the one for you. It's, uh, find a better name, I dare you. And there's a screenshot from the newscast. Yeah, the guy's name is D'Artagnan Raspberry. <laughs> There was one! This fucking comedian talked about how about how he and his friends, when he lived in Portland as a kid, they like tore up the phone book into four chunks so that they could each try and find the funniest name in Portland to uh, prank. Uh-huh. Um, the first one they found was not a real name because it was Skeletor P. Fuck. But they couldn't prank him because anytime they called him he'd just play his bass into the phone. It's like, is he man really gay? And then um, they're like, then finally they found the right one, Agly Bagel Face. <laughs> so good. I need to find. Whoa. I need to f remember what comedian that is. If if there's anyone watching this, who knows which comedian had that bit? Please let me know. I'd love to watch more of his work. I only ever heard him on Pandora. I'm gonna tweet, uh, or I'm gonna copy and paste the other tweet because it's kind of a visual thing. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to see it in the stream chat pop up. Okay. <laughs> wow. That one is so fucking true. Yeah. Oh shit, it's a pill bug. Oh god damn it, I still don't have a net. Oh god. I gotta make a net. Um, do I even have the stuff for it? Oh man. How long have I been streaming now? I don't want to go too long on Animal Crossing. Because yeah. I do actually want to get at least the beginning of, uh... Breath of the Wild. Set up. Should I do the Master Quest? I've only done the original one. I've never played it. Actually, I never even beat the original um, game. I, I, know, I I've was... gotten to the point where I could just go and beat Ganon. Maybe I should just do that. I got uh, really high the other day. Mm -hmm. I was staring at my legs like, I've got two femurs, but they have never fiend. <laughs> Femyals. Is a ye. They're 
can't be moved. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh god, he's a tarantula. Oh god. Look at that fucker. Squish it. No, 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 you gotta have a net because they bite. Go full on, uh, Here's some bullshit, and you'll understand this. Uh, go so the tarantulas. The, the tarantulas are like the deadliest thing in this game right now. Uh, which is bullshit because tarantulas are super chill in real Aside life. Aside from Tom Nook's dreamy eyes. Oh. No. But, um, when you give them. When you give them to Blathers, the museum owl, he tells you about the thing that you give him, and he's just like, yeah, this is a tarantula. They're really docile. It's like, it wasn't docile when I had to catch it before it fucking bit my ass. Did you meme? What did I tell you about memeing in the house, Andrew? You take that outside. Hey! I can't hit you with a rolled-up newspaper from here, but don't do that. I thought it was do it where you could watch. Ah, oh. Listen. We have cameras on us at all times. You can record things. So many shells on my beach. I don't like it when the mosquitoes bite. Places. Places? <laughs> you... Andrew, do you have... Do you have some sort of secret places that you want to tell us about? Yes. Something that the average average person would not be privy to? I have four. I mean, we all got like seven, so that, that's not that big a deal. It's right behind me. Hmm. Whenever I scratch it, my toes Stop. <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping I could last it out. God damn it, there's gotta be a way to break you. Cause like, no matter what I do, I'm like, I gotta find, if I find a way to top you with just my, verbally here, um, no pun intended, uh, I can, I can probably get you to maybe maybe relax but it's just it's just a recipe for disaster it just encourages you <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster should be the title of my autobiography <laughs> or your cookbook <laughs> it's cookbook slash diy are you gonna make a souffle or are you gonna make a bomb who knows you will at the end of the recipe only the chef knows <laughs> he's not telling <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> you like drive past burned down houses and you're like, ah, it's page 53. Mm. I told people with those eggs. <laughs> faster. <laughs> faster. Oh yeah. Yank that rye. Ah. Uh. I don't even need fish. I have things I should be doing in this game, but. I like that one tooth. <laughs> oh yeah, I just replaced. Because the thing, okay. Um, I had to don't, let... don't explain your British dentistry to me. Well, okay, so um, I need to explain this Animal Crossing meme to you. I just got to get home so I can look at a mirror. Mirror! Show me what I you've turned me into. Oh man, you should really uh, play some of the Yakuza games. Because mm. uh, one of the weapons you can get is this long pole, basically. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys you can play as just like javelins it into someone's chest and pole vaults off them on the ground. Oh, it's harsh. Okay, so this is the character creation that you do at the beginning, and then you can do more later. But, um, so these are the four possible mouths. Um, this is the one you do if you're basic. This is the one you do if you're, uh, a little weird. This is the one you do if you're a furry. And nobody does this one, so now I do this one. Also, you have to draw on your eyebrows and your freckles and stuff. Th those are custom. Hence why they're kind of janky. I've noticed you have, uh... Given up 
on the stash. The stash? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just too much. That's what she said. I just couldn't, man. If I tried to eat ramen, it was just a, a hot mess. And I already got the hair in the way. You know what the worst is about having a mustache? Mm -hmm. Sneezing. Yes. Yes, or that's so bad. You're trying to blow your nose, you gotta, like, check the mirror, like, ugh. I feel like you gotta wash your face afterwards. Yeah, like you you have to go at it with like two tissues. You're pulling stuff out. It's like, ugh. Speaking of which, if I'm if I'm gonna get into that, uh, so I get like general just ear problems, and so I get a lot of wax buildup. So I use this peroxide derivative. It's just like an eardrop thing. But the idea is that it, like, foams up and softens your earwax so that it can actually be, like, uh, flushed out. But wow, I, my ear was so clogged up, and when I did it, it's just chunks, chunks coming out of my left ear. And by the time I was done, I was like, whoa, I turned the speakers up on the world. <laughs> you want to know a weird fascination I have on YouTube? Hmm videos of people getting things removed from their ears or noses. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. I remember in high school seeing like one of those like scary and scary doctor shows and the, it was like a dramatization of this this woman's ear is bleeding and she hears a helicopter sound and they eventually like look in her ear and it's like what is it? It's a June bug. Oh uh, yeah. Oh god. No, what I'm talking cool. mostly about is like they like clean waxy buildups out that are like hardened, blackened, mm -hmm. like monster, like some have fungus growing behind them. It wasn't and it wasn't fungus bad, but yeah, I I had some uh there was some hardened it's... stuff in there. My favorite is like watching uh, there's this one video of a guy getting something pulled out of his nose. Mm. And it's like this mass that looked like two of my thumbs. Oh. Like it, being pulled out through his one nostril. And <sighs> it looked like a fucking slug laid there. And he turns to his wife and just goes, I Told you I couldn't breathe. I was like, This you absolute legend. <laughs> Is this something we think should be out on the airwaves, man? Is this really the kind of thing we should be? Dude, you should I, be talking about. I love that fish. Did I didn't actually make that. God damn it. Oh man, I'm gonna start talking like with 90s slang for the rest of the night. Ish? That's 90s? Oh, uh, that's a little later, bro. I just think it'd be really funny to do like that Nickelodeon edgy slang. Yeah. Fair enough. Do you remember when the movie Harriet the Spy came out? Yes. Oh my god, I had such a crush on her. Yeah, I'll bet you did. I really- oh. Uh, I read yeah. that book too- that book is like, really old. Yeah. Like, she, they were talking about like, worst and stuff. It's like, what kid even knows what worst is? You know what book I feel like everyone's read but nobody like, gives enough credit to? What's that? Phantom Toll. Yeah! Yeah, Phantom Tollbooth is amazing. Like, it's I remember so reading that as a kid, and it, it like, gets really... It's like, so many deep philosophical fucking, like, concepts that are presented in a way that kids can understand. Like, so much of the shit in there, like, really opened my eyes to just metaphysical, like, philosophical concepts. God damn it. There were some great books like that back in the day. Right? I would almost put uh, Madeline Langle on there with the Tesseract. Hmm. Um. One thing, um, an interesting one, there's a book written by, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was written by Julie Andrews. It was like a kid's book. And it was about like imagination and like perception. And stuff, and it was like a crazy adventure story. It was super, um, it was just like s super creative, super like interesting. Not like 
Not to like, um, give Julie Andrews crap, but like, I was genuinely impressed. I, the fact that she can perform the way she does and also had that story in her is amazing. Yeah, I'm not shocked. She seems very creative. Yeah, but, definitely. Um, I can't remember the title, but I'm, as far as I know, it's she didn't write m many, if any, other novels, so... Um, it's definitely worth a read. Yeah, I just think back to, like, that time when I was in, like, fourth and fifth grade. There were some amazing books around that time. Like, stuff that nobody but me remembers, but were just fantastic books. I just realized, if you're on my phone and I can't hear the game audio, then there's no reason for me to have my headphones on. <laughs> That is true. I should um, grab my earbuds so that I can hear for Breath of the Wild, though, because the sound prompts are a little more important in there. Oh, I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna grab a drink. Yeah, go for it. Bury this clam. Or I guess not bury it. Oh, shit. It's nice to be able to leap over holes, but at the same time, it can be a pain when you don't mean to. What's this? Oh, lost item. Who lost this up here? Who had a letter before I did? <sighs> My pockets are full. Swap it. Swap it. I don't really need a hermit crab, so I guess I'll put him away. Fossil? No, no weeds. <coughs> ah, put that back. Hmm. <sighs> oh my God! Oh baby, can't you see? I got everything you need Only a genius could love a woman like she Oh my god Oh baby can't you see I got everything you need Only a genius could love a woman like me G G G G G G genius G G G G G G genius Yeah, this is not very focused content. I'm just uh making sure that the L gotta works before I get into the bigger game. Which it appears to be working. This is not the best way to be handling uh an audio output, but whatever. It works. It works. Is anybody in... Well, I'll do that another time. <clears throat> oh, another snail? <gasps> no! Oh. He folded. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting much done here, but, uh... Yeah, I can get my Nook Miles Plus. Where are my daily doubles? Sell items... Sell specifically clumps of weeds. Sell shot. It's all selling shit. Well, I can chop wood pretty easy. I got an axe. So let me do that. Um, I have returned. Hello. Hi. Did somebody order a math tutor? No. That's such a specific reference. Um. It's, there's this, like, anim this, like, really, um, let's say amateur animation on YouTube, which is, uh, um, it's, uh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog and Baldi from Baldi's Basics, 
It's it's just like a bunch of current popular video game characters. And even the one that's not even meant to be like a good performance, the their impression of him is so just wrong. And yeah, it just opens with him going, Hello, did somebody order a math tutor? <laughs> it just, I'll take your word for it that it is funny. It's it's hilarious. Oh man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit. Oh god, I need my slingshot. Should I do it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, that was so close. Um Well, okay, I think this is enough of a test. I did not get a lot accomplished in my town today, but I was also vaguely distracted. I mean, yeah, what was coronavirus at all? Yeah. Can you expect me to do anything? You're not allowed out. Right? Just run up on, like, Tom Nook showing up to get a payment, like, SOCIAL DISTANCING! <laughs> He doesn't bug you for payments. He's literally just like, go to the machine and pay whenever you want to. And, you were right last time you said, no ethical landlords. He's not a landlord. He's a contractor. He builds the house for you. Oh, Phoebe, no. No, get away. Oh. I feel bad for the people who aren't the landlords, but like work the front office for the landlords and like, you know, the neighborhoods. Yeah. Because they are catching a lot of shit on stuff that they completely agree with you. I know. Well, that's the thing is the the person, the face person, should get paid more because they have to deal with the most bullshit when they have the least power. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to end Animal Crossing and come right back to this. So, BRB. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm right still... I'm still here, but... Here for the stream. Friend of mine does that.